Okay, let's shift gears now and discuss the problems encountered with the sniffer module and troubleshooting these. And there are really two main issues that people run into. The two problems are, number one, you will play a video and the sniffer module will remain blank. It will not detect links. That's one type of problem that occurs and it's probably the less frequent of the two main problems. So that's number one. Number two is that you detect a link in here and then you click download or download and play and once you do that the download process never completes. In fact it really never starts. You'll see the progress indicator not move at all and it'll hang for maybe a minute or a couple of minutes before it'll finally stop. And that is the second type of a problem that we often see with people who end up on the help desk. Now we estimate that on about 85 percent of the machines the sniffer module will work correctly the very first time it's used. However, on some machines a combination of browser, firewall, and antivirus settings block the sniffer from working correctly. And if that's the case your computer may need to be correctly configured to allow the sniffer module to work. And we'll either walk you through this or we'll initiate a remote assistance session and we'll do this for you. However, before you go to that step, the first thing we should consider doing is to use the sniffer troubleshooter that we've put together. And this is found on the help desk in the troubleshooter section. And there are several ways to get to the troubleshooter. The easiest is simply to go to the help button right here and click the link in there that says help desk. And that'll take you to the help desk. And then once you're on the help desk, you simply go to the troubleshooter and you find the troubleshooter right here on the help desk. You click that, takes you here to sniffer problems. You click that and it begins the process of walking you through this whole series of things in which it helps you diagnose and fix what the problems are. Lastly, before we conclude this training video, I want to go through the most common problem and that is the need to thoroughly clear the cache. So as you go through this troubleshooter here, you will see one step of it is to clear your cache. And even though we have specific instructions there, it is still not unusual for this step not to be done thoroughly. So what I'd like to do is to take the time here to use the three major browsers, which are Firefox, Chrome, and IE, or Internet Explorer. And I'd like to show you how to clear the cache in each of those different browsers. Because if you do that correctly, that's going to solve the lion's share of the problems just by itself. So right now I have Firefox open. To clear the cache in Firefox we go to the Tools button. We go to Clear Recent History. It opens this little window here and in this window we need to select Browser and Download History, Form and Search History, Cookies and Cache. We don't need active login. So these top four up here and this is also very important. If you're set on the last hour or last day, that won't do it. You need to clear everything. Okay, so these top four, you click and select them. You select everything. You hit clear now, and it will clear that. If you haven't done this before and you do a lot of browsing, it might take a couple of minutes. But it'll let you know when it's done. And once it's done, then you will have successfully completed that step in the troubleshooter. And this is a very important step. So that's how you do it in Firefox. Let's now go to Chrome. So in Chrome, the way we clear the cache is to go over here to this little tools button. We click that. It opens a window here. And if we go to history, and in history it says clear browser data, you select that button. And then it opens this little window and asks you again what you want to save. And in Chrome, you're going to select Clear Browser History, Clear Download History, Delete Cookies and Other Site and Plugin Data, and Empty the Cache. And here's this same thing, at least the analogous version to what we saw in Firefox. You need to select since the beginning of time, not the past day or the past hour or the past four weeks, but since the beginning of time. So once you've selected that, selected these top four items, you simply click the button here that says Clear Browser Data, and it will clear your cache. And in Internet Explorer, this largely works the same way. We go to Tools, we go Delete Browser History. That opens this window here, and we need to select what? We need to select Temporary Internet Files, Cookies, History, and Download History. Now. In IE, there's this other tricky little setting up here, which is this one. Preserve favorite website data. 
In most browsers, if you haven't done this before, this will be selected. And so what that means is it will delete these four things, but it will preserve these things. And if you're on YouTube, and it's something you use commonly, that means it will not delete what we need to have deleted from YouTube. So this has to be deselected or unchecked. These four have to be selected or checked. We click the delete button and it starts the process of deleting our browser history and that's why this little wheel is spinning on the machine and now it's done. So those are the step-by-step -step instructions to clear your cache in each of these three main browsers that probably 90% of you will be using. So with that, we'll conclude this training video on the use of the Sniffer module in Song Surgeon version 4.